Because of her experiences, a, a, a lifetime of performance and dance and choreography, she, she, that was pretty effortless for her to learn the fight choreography. Now, right off the bat, I'm so curious what it was that drew you to the story of the mother. I was really drawn to the global action movie of it. Like, I, I really like the genre, um, but 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 the fact that it had a woman in the center, and and not just a woman, a mother, front and center, and that that really visceral, thrilling action was was balanced with emotion. And, and, you know, because right at the soul and the spine of this movie, it's a, it's a love letter from a mother to a child. Um, but it's wrapped up in, in a lot of really, um, really intense and thrilling action. And it was perfect package for me. I had so much fun watching it. The action is great. We'll talk about that in a second. But I am so curious what it was like working with with Jennifer Lopez, both on and off camera, because she does an amazing job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is a badass. Um, yeah. On and off, um, on the screen and in real life. It was amazing. She's a great collaborative partner. She's a producer as well as um, the lead actor on the movie. And she's a mother. And so am I, and we both have teenage children, so we had we had really similar instincts for the material, and uh, so it was just a joy, really. Now, what went into getting those action scenes just right? Because everyone looked really badass in them, and the choreography was wonderful. What went into that? Was there a vision behind the particular style that you wanted to find? Mm, you know, the vision was really that the action always be authentic to the character. And, and this is a character that was a combat veteran, that's a skilled sniper, um, and, and, and has, has tremendous skill and expertise and calm mm -hmm. uh, under pressure. Um, so the action sequences were all built around that idea. So, so the action is always motivated, it's never, just action for action's sake. And I think that makes the movie um, feel very real and very engaging. Yeah, and, now, and then the action sequences all wanted to be, you know, they're all different and I, I never wanted to repeat ourselves. I always wanted to give the audience something more right up till the end of the biggest action sequence at the end of the movie. And what kind of training went into this for the actors? Because they all look, I mean, fantastic in those scenes. <laughs> they were, yeah, really diligent and responsible mm -hmm. at training, at training well. I'm none more so than Jennifer, obviously. Mm -hmm. And um, and for her, because of her experiences, a, a, a lifetime of performance and dance and choreography, she, she that was pretty effortless for her to learn the fight choreography. Mm -hmm. um, um, what what was amazing, you know, even in her, you can see in her videos of her training is how much intensity and focus and passion she brings, even to the training, the rehearsal days. You know, she's incredible. <laughs> she absolutely is. And, and so is Joseph Fiennes and Gail Garcia Bernal. They are wonderful. What went into casting them, bringing them in as our antagonist? Um, it was a great challenge to cast uh, three, actually four men <clears throat> around Jennifer that could all go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, right? Yeah. And, um, at, at, you know, at the dramatic level, um, who were each really strong and singular men and actors in their own right. It's like... Perfect, yeah. perfect combination, cast combination, I think. Absolutely. I mean, the cast chemistry was really wonderful. It looks like it was just really involved to film as well. There's a lot of different locations. Obviously, there are fight scenes that we talked about. What was the most difficult part of filming or the most challenging thing that you had to work out? I, I think for me, one of the most challenging sequences was the abduction of Zoe. Mm -hmm. which we were shooting in, in, a, in a park in the middle of a city um, and, and it shot over a number of days and you know, Lucy's all the way down there and I'm up yeah. here with Jennifer and it was just logistically really tough because we were also kind of 
managing to work within city traffic. Lots of moving parts. Um, but I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with the sequence because it feels very kind of real and surprising to me. Um, yeah, I like it. Absolutely. Well, and, and obviously, you know, the mother, there's a lot to be said about motherhood. In this movie, you're a mother, Jennifer is a mother. What do you hope audiences walk away with thinking about that, that theme at the end of the day? I hope audiences, you know, come away from the film, you know, being both thrilled and moved, but, but with maybe with a new respect for the general badassery of mothers. Um, yeah. You don't mess Absolutely. with us. <laughs> yeah, we see what happens when you do. <laughs> now, I know what you said, the park scene, the abduction scene is the most challenging one. Was there a scene of yours that was like the most favorite to film or something that you just had a blast doing? Oh, I loved all the stuff in Cuba. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we weren't we weren't shooting in Cuba, unfortunately, but um, mm -hmm. uh, but those sequences were really, you know, just a joy, a joy to shoot. Mm -hmm. I loved it over there. And where were you shooting? We were we were in the Canary Islands, um, which oh. is off mm -hmm. the west coast of Africa. Oh, wonderful! That sounds like a lovely. What was the cast dynamic like off screens? We're in the Canary Islands. It sounds wonderful. Yeah, well, we we were shooting this movie in the COVID time, so oh, okay. It, so I I love that you think it was a party after hours, <laughs> but really we were all in our rooms, right? Testing and testing and all that jazz. <laughs> well. I can't wait for everyone to see this movie. Is there anything else that you would want fans to know before they uh, click play? Oh, look, I would say, you know, Jennifer is a global icon for a reason. Um, and, and God knows she has fans in the end, hundreds of millions. But I would say to them, <laughs> you've never seen her like this. You know. Oh, I'm so excited to see the reaction from everyone when they see this. And I super appreciate you taking the time oh, to talk no, to me today. Thank you very much. Thank you.